Masturbation is a private sexual behavior rarely shared in public. Hence, it always gets a bad rap in society. Is masturbation a healthy habit? Let's find out today. Masturbating has been an almost universal practice since history has been recorded. 95% of men and 62% of women have masturbated in their life. Does it affect male fertility? Will it cause blindness? Will it cause erectile dysfunction? Is it the reason for lack of blood flow and numbness in the body? Will it result in nervous disorders? Will it cause sleeplessness and tiredness? Here comes the most common myth. Will it lead to hair fall, cause acne and pimples? Or is it waste of semen and energy? There are tons of myths out there meant to scare you into thinking masturbation is bad. There are a lot of myths about masturbation. Uh, you've heard plenty of them. Uh, they're all actually rumors you've heard about like masturbation causing erectile dysfunction, infertility, so on and so forth. But you have to understand that all these things are actually uh, being spread by quacks. You don't even know whether these doctors are qualified medically or not. The sole purpose of these people actually trying to brand masturbation as a problematic one is because they want to sell a lot of medicines because they want to convince the young kids, the young adults to basically consume these medicines so that they can make uh, money out of it. But you have to understand masturbation is a totally healthy one. There are plenty of benefits to masturbation. Humans and animals masturbate because self-love improves quality of sperm. Getting old sperm out and having young sperm improves fertility rates. Pelvic flow muscles are in both men and women. As we age, these muscles weaken, causing sexual dysfunction in women and erectile dysfunction in men. Masturbation strengthens these pelvic muscles and is like a workout for the sex muscles improving sexual performance. When you suffer from cold, masturbation activates component of immune system in your body, thus increasing the number of white blood cells. Masturbation reduces prostate cancer, decreases the negative impact in the body. When you masturbate, the need for sex reduces. Hence, the chances of contracting sexually transmitted disease becomes less. It's a feel-good thing. Releases dopamine. Reduces stress. Releases endorphins. Decreases perception of pain. It generates prolactin hormone. And you get much needed sleep. According to AMA, masturbation is a normal part of sexuality. Not only singles masturbate, many married men and women masturbate. Not because they don't have satisfactory sex with their partners, but because they occasionally like the alternative of giving themselves pleasure. According to a recent survey, 70% of men and 40% of women in relationship reported masturbating. How many of you are aware that monkeys masturbate just like humans? Then why masturbation is considered abnormal in some cases? Well, we've spoken about the many benefits of masturbation, but when does masturbation actually become a problem? Well, whenever masturbation interferes with our quality of life, by quality of life, I'm talking about either work or about marriage. Well, a man goes to work. Now, instead of working in front of a computer, if he goes to the restroom and masturbates, then it's a problem. The same man goes back home, he has to have sex with his wife, but before having sex with his wife, he again goes to the restroom and masturbates. Now, this time, masturbation has become an addiction and that is when it interferes with your quality of life and that is when it's a problem. Frequent masturbation may lead to problem related to conception. It is important to mix masturbation and sex as masturbation might make you sexually unresponsive to other kinds of stimulation leading to lack of performance Bye. with real partner. Despite research finding self-pleasure to be healthy, it's still mired in guilt. <laughs> The guilt that surrounds masturbation is astounding, especially one realizes how pervasive it is among human beings. In our society, there's a lot of guilt associated with uh, masturbation. The reasons could be like twofold. The most important reason is a lot of men equate one drop of semen with about like 40 drops of blood. So if one drop of semen is evacuated from the body, then they think they lose a lot of blood and that is why they feel guilty. Now the second reason for that could be that the diktats of our culture say that semen should not be wasted before marriage. If you are having intercourse, then it is okay to ejaculate semen. But on your own, if you ejaculate, then that is not right. 
and because of these cultural effects also men feel guilty but there is absolutely no need to feel guilty because masturbation is a very very healthy habit so please set aside your guilt and please go ahead and masturbate at the end of the day masturbating is one of the few pleasurable things in life that we can almost do anytime and anywhere oops not in public it's a normal physical function as natural as breathing air today is the first day of the rest of your life so don't dwell on past rumors spread by quacks which will get you nowhere take the best and leave the rest by subscribing to metro mail for more videos and become a metro mail